Hello, uh, my name's James Bohr. I'm a cybersecurity consultant currently working with an insure tech company. And I've been asked to do a video on a career in cybersecurity, uh, why you'd want to do it, and there are plenty of reasons, and what it's actually like. So, first, just a bit about my own experience. I started out in cyber sometime over a decade ago before it was officially cybersecurity. Back then, it was data protection or infosec or just IT. Uh, so, a lot of the fundamentals were already there, they've been in place since about 1972 before I was born but they weren't recognized as a separate discipline from just IT or just good governance. So I started out in schools around the time that the Data Protection Act was coming in managing their networks which meant that all of the uh, issues around student data immediately fell on me. So that was a good thrown in the deep end experience of getting into security and from there I just evolved along with the field uh, going through things like development, architecture, uh, I did technical support and various other bits for a while before settling into the type of thing that I do now. And what I do now is cybersecurity consultancy which it's hard to be specific about because security is such a wide domain. It's it's basically an industry in its own right with disciplines within it and even cyber security has a lot of elements of that you can go into cyber and cover off almost anything and what I do is try to keep up to date as much as I can in each field not specializing but being a generalist who can work to liaise between a business and its technical employees or its risk management employees or all of the different areas that are involved in security and help them to work together, help them to understand what the actual challenges are rather than just focusing on their niche area and simply help them solve those challenges. So my day-to-day -day tasks mostly involve talking to people, researching and understanding what's going on in the business. Uh, there's not really a checklist I have to go through each day. There are some things where I'll have set them in motion and have to do a bit of project management on them or maybe some enterprise architecture. Occasionally I'll get pulled into a development meeting to look at some technical challenges and now and then I'll do things like a bit of coding just because I feel like it. Usually that's scripting. And really for me, that's one of the best things about a career in cybersecurity, that you can end up doing anything. There's space for every skill set, there's space for every discipline, there's space for every interest. So long as you've got that interest in security and a passion for helping to secure people and property and technology, uh, that's, that's the key thing. So the pros really are that massive variety and massive scope for anyone who cares to have an impact. Uh, there are cons, obviously it's still quite a new field and a lot of the time it doesn't sit where it should in a business. So uh, I've often gone into a company and essentially been told, well, security is not a big priority for us, but we've brought you in and you'll fix all of that. Oh no, there's no budget. No, there's no support. No, there's no people. So security does need to be looked at and reprioritized as essential for a business rather than just a niche cost area of IT. Uh, some businesses are getting that, some aren't. So it is worth having a look before going into it and deciding whether you can deal with that sort of challenge or whether you want to be more selective about the opportunities you take. But despite that, I've been asked to mention the pay and I will say the pay is just really good. Um, there's not enough people in security out there at all. We are massively short of skilled people and unfortunately because of the way that businesses deal with it, there's not the opportunities for people to develop internally in a business into security experts that really they need. So it's not going to be filled that way. And a lot of the time, HR filters will cut out people who've got an interest, got a passion, got some basic knowledge, but haven't got that formal recognized experience, which is what things like the Cybersecurity Academy can help with, as well as consolidating and developing knowledge. And once you're in, 
there is rapid progression if you want to put the work in there's all sorts of opportunities to specialize across different areas and the pay is good uh, to put it bluntly so there's various reasons you should consider a career uh, i've been asked for some tips for those looking to start a career in cyber and really it is three things it's maintain curiosity look into things it doesn't matter whether it's not in an area you want to specialize in try and be curious try and look into everything you can spread your knowledge spread your time when you're not working and doing your own research uh, that's absolutely essential because it is a holistic field you if you over specialize you will get paid but you will be in quite a fragile area and Unfortunately, a lot of the problems in security are from over-specialisation and siloing away from many of the other areas. Uh, second tip would be have a passion for it. If you don't have a passion, if you don't feel like you're protecting people and that it matters, it's an incredibly frustrating field, or it can be an incredibly frustrating field. So you have to actually care about what you're doing. And... Uh, that's another thing that matters and the final one is get involved in the communities there's a lot of cyber security and general security communities there's professional bodies and professional groups you can join uh, almost everyone in security wants more people to join and wants to encourage and develop people who are new to the field so do get involved in the communities do talk to people do jump on linkedin and ask questions of people who are actively talking about it jump on twitter join infosec twitter just engage with all of them so good luck with your studies with the Cybersecurity academy and uh, on starting a new career and hopefully i will see a lot of you active in the cybersecurity community soon